Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be changing the rear discs and pads on the Audi TT. So I have shown these in a previous video, but I'll just show you them quickly again. We've got the brake grease, Mintex rear pads. I've also got some new brake shields. I don't know if we're gonna be using them yet because I don't know we'll be able to get the old ones off because the bolts are gonna be seized. And we have some drilled and grooved discs. So as I said, I want to hopefully try and use these, but I don't know whether the bolts are gonna come off or not. Because um, it is quite an old car and everything has seized. I mean, it's 20 years old now this car. This is the same, I mean, I've got the vented rear discs. It's the same for the solids and the vented rear discs. So the principle is the same on this. So let's see what happens on the way while we get these changed. All right, so let's go to the car. Obviously you all know how to take a wheel off, wheels off. Got some tools down here at the ready. You will be needing one of these caliper wind back tools. If you haven't got one of these, stop now and go and get one before you go any further. Because you will 100% need that, otherwise you are not gonna get the new pads in. So what we need is to do is to get a 13 mil on this. Hold this with a 15 mil. I've already loosened mine already. So we get that up, same top and bottom. Use some penetration fluid, because as I said, these are old cars and things are rusty and seized. So ex expect the worst, but hope for the best. Let's get this caliper off. That's it. That is those two bolts off, and now we're ready to get the caliper off. It will probably be quite stiff. So now it's off. Move the old pads like that. You might need to use something to get the back one off. Get that other pad off, like that, like that. I'm just using some cable ties just to support this caliper to stop it from dropping down too far. So what I will do is I'm probably gonna go around the anti-roll bar here with these cable ties. You can use bungee cords or anything like that. But that's just to stop that and put in any strain on any of the pipes. That just takes the weight of the caliper. So as I said, what we need to do now is clean up these. Give them a bit of lube. Let that soak in for a few minutes. I believe it's an eight mil hex gun. If you can't get this in and it starts spinning out, then just use the Torx and smash it in. And I'm gonna, put, actually that's gone in quite well. Let's get hammer in there as well. Let's make sure we get a good connection on that. So that is tight. Oh, there we go. It managed to undo. As a result. And before you put it all the way, you're probably gonna need to wiggle that out again. Same for the bottom one. Line it up. I might have to use a little extension just for there. 
like this just to make sure I can get a good fixing on it like that let me just climb under the cards see if that one's gonna come off Ooh. There we go. So that's the result, they weren't too bad. So let's just get that top one off. There we go, that's out. Put that to one side because we'll be needing that again. We'll just get that, make sure that socket's going to come out. Right, so that socket is going to come out. I'll just finish turning this out. Probably do it by hand now. So, 8 mil for those. Right, so we're getting that's going pretty well. We have the bracket off. I'm gonna clean this up and paint this black before it goes back on, just to make sure it looks quite nice. So what we've got next, disc. So we need to take the disc off and there's a little screw bit up here. Clean that all up, because that will probably be seized and you might end up having to drill that out. So I have already managed to loosen my one. Let me just show you. There you go, see? That's my one. Coming off. I used a, I think it's a Posi 3. I used on it to get it out. All right, so that's that screw out. And that's the disc off. So what you want to do now is once you've done that, you want to clean all of this up and also check your guards out. You want to hang it. So I'm just going to pull that off like that because it's not doing anything. And as you can see, my bolts are pretty rusty. So I'm not even going to bother attempting to try and get those off I mean these these shields on the um with the uh 256 um rear rear um disc the vented discs I rung Audi for some and you can't actually get them anymore but I did manage to get some pattern ones but I think at the moment it's gonna be such a pain getting it all off because the ABS rings all in the way as well. I'd have to take the whole hub off, so then try and get those off, which is gonna be a nightmare. Probably end up drilling these out to put that on. So what I will probably do is leave those off for the moment until we end up doing the rear bearings or something like that and have to get these hubs off. So I'm just gonna clean this area up so we can put the new disc on. You can do that with a normal, you know, little wire brush. Luckily I've got the drill bit, so I can just use that. So we have that now, so now we're ready to get our disc on. So let me go and get that. So I have the new disc over here. And on the instructions, it tells me that I need these grooves going that way going that way like that but before we put the disc on clean them with some brake cleaner because it will have some grease or something just some much like anti-corrosion sort of stuff on it which we need to get all off because you do not want that contaminating your brakes
Remember to do both sides. Right. So we've got the hole up the top there. So bang, line up with that. Now we can put that little that little screw back in. Go, nip that up, and that is the new disc on. I'm going to torque these to 65 newton meters. And that is the carrier back on. So What you need now, your wine back tool. You see you've got these two little grooves there and there. That's what you want to get these points in. So you line those up in there like that. Put that, slot that in there like that. And with some luck, you'll be able to wind that back. So that is as far as that's going to go back. So now we need to get the pads in. It's nice that the new pads come with some new bolts. So we haven't got to reuse the old ones. There's your pads. And just spread a bit on the back of the pad. Don't get any on the pad, just on the metal and any bit. That's gonna be moving. All right. So that's one in. Let's get the other one in. Done. Then put your caliper pop the brakes a couple of time, make sure you've got a pedal. Job done. And then you have some nice new discs and pads on the rear. Happy days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.